Okay, hey guys, it's Simon from Browsio, and I just wanted to talk very, very quickly about content curation, um, just for a few moments, and show you how to use all of the built-in curation features to speed things up um, and make things even easier than they already are with curating content. So um, I'm, maybe a few of you or some of you aren't sure what content curation is. For those of you, I'm just going to very briefly, quickly explain in short um, the best way to generate the cheapest content basically is what it is that you know will already be popular and help you rank um, by citing other people's content and linking back to it as part of a conversation. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean right now. Um, I'll give you, go just do a, um, a walk through and, and actually curate a bit of content using Browsio. Um, so let's just jump straight in. Okay, so let's go into the, the RSS reader. Um, is probably the best place to go. You can stick any RSS feed here that you want, kind of like the Google um, Reader. Um, just it links to Browsio, not to just share buttons. I mean, we've got the share buttons here as well. You know, just if you if you want to share to your um, um, whatever you know, whatever you're logged into here in this project, in this profile, um, and then so. Let's let let's have a look here. This is this is what this is what we've got here. This is a bodybuilding profile. Um, we've got some articles from the Daily Mail, um, Daily Record, and a whole bunch of other seem to be authority sites all about bodybuilding. Um, now, what we want to do is we want to cite this. So there's a, a few ways we can do this. Now, what we can do here is right click and view in browser. When you view in the browser. It's exactly just, this is just like a normal browser. We're in Chrome, and um, we have both Chrome and Firefox built into this um, version. So this is the article, and what we've just done there, remember, we just, we're in our RSS reader, just right-click, viewed in browser, and it sends it to the browser. Um, so let's have a quick look. What we can do now is we can curate this article, and... Because we've already got Publish Hub here, we can send it directly to Publish Hub without doing anything else other than highlighting and copying and pasting. Um, and I'm going to demo that in a, just a minute, but I want to just go back to the RSS Reader and show you the other options that are already built into the RSS Reader. So you can curate straight from here as well. So if you want to send this snippet, this link, and this particular snippet with this little image to... Um, be a, the bit of content that you're curating, all you need to do is right click and click curate it. And that will send it to Publish Hub in its already um, pre formatted, um, curated format with the block quotes in it and a hyperlink straight back to this um, site here, um, the Daily Mail. Linking back to it, um, just preparing it ready for your intro and outro. And all you need to do is give it a, a few sentences in the front, a few sentences in the back. And um, we're going to be looking at customizing the amount of content that we're bringing in over here so that we can have a much larger formatted snippet as well. Um, but right now, this is what it looks like. So the quickest way to curate with Browsio straight from the RSS feed, um, find an article you want to curate, you go right click, curate it. And that's it. And easy as that, it sends it straight to Publish Hub. And if we look at the HTML, we can see that it's got the block quotes there already, as you can see, block quotes, and the links straight back to the um, original article, exactly like you're supposed to. Um, and you can just basically go up there. We can um, just want to get rid, I think, uh, the block quotes. I'm trying to go into the HTML probably quicker right now. So we want to get out of the block quotes here for this, into the body, and we're just going to write um, it's competition month and the bronzed bodies are out in force. Typically you want to have a lot more than that. Okay, and then at the end here as well, make sure it's out of the block quotes for this. And um, yeah, pretty awesome. Let me know what you think in the comments. Right, so there you go. And that's it. That's all you really, really need. I mean, look, you know, um, 
I'm just doing a demo. I want it to be as quickly as possible. And I have actually curated in the past like this and had stuff ranked. So um, there is a sweet spot with content. If you're doing content marketing, you know, we talk about the thousand word mark. Um, but then you also have to take into account the ratios when you're curating content, how much of it is, is, is your original content and how much of it is just curated content. So there are certain weights that go with it. Um, so it's not that simple. You don't want to just be doing a sentence in the front sentence in the back, although you can get away with that because it's just a little bit of content and this is good enough. Um, you know, just to be a, a good snippet of content that you can post your WordPress blogs, your WordPress.com blogs and give it a nice unique title. So bronzed women with bulging biceps gather for the Arnold classic. So Arnold is at it, at it, Arnold is at it again with those bulging biceps. Okay. All right. And that's it. So let's just, um, I want to make sure, because look, another thing about you that you should be aware of is that this takes your proxy, your current proxy time and sets it for that. So if it's different to your actual time, it's going to post date it um, so that it'll post in the future. So I want this to actually post now. So I'm just going to make, make it as if it was posted yesterday. Um, so again, we have total control here and category. We'll add the category um, bodybuilding. I think this is a new blog, a new WordPress blog I'm going to be posting to here. And I don't think I've ever posted to it before. So if it, ha if it doesn't have a if it doesn't have a um, bodybuilding, if it doesn't have it, then you, it'll create it for you. Okay, and then we'll add some tags. Bodybuilding, muscle, biceps, biceps, my terrible, terrible dyslexia, <laughs> biceps, and uh, Arnold. Okay, and we want to add a featured image. Okay. <sighs> Okay, we'll do it now. I have probably, what do I have here? Let's find something I've got in bodybuilding. I've got some bodybuilding stuff here, I'm sure. Um, documents, images, um, bodybuilding, muscle, uh, bodybuilding motivation. Okay. We'll do that. That's a video. Just do that. Okay. And that's it. Whatever. I don't know what that is. I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. Okay. Um... And then let's pick now the place that we want to post to. So you refresh. This is going to one of the PBNs. Sorry, guys. Um, the rest of them are going to be blocked out. I think there's going to be a whole bunch. Um, it's going to show that I haven't put into folders yet. Um, and I don't want all of these to be shown. So when you see the video, it's going to be blurred out. But I'm going to show you this particular site. And this one um, is on the profile Ali Viega. And let's see, where was this one? I think it was recently added. Um, if it's, let's find it here. So what I'm looking for is just the actual project name there. Unless I already added it to a folder. Nope, there it is. Okay, so there it is. And then we have an excerpt. So let's just do a full demo. Um, excerpt for the image. Pump it up. Okay. And then we just go and publish and... That's it. Okay, we're ready. So, and, and, and by the way, you can spin everything for power users here. So if you've got spun articles, um, you can spin the title, you can spin the category. So if you're uploading it to multiple WordPress.com blogs, um, you can spin categories, you can spin titles. And don't forget, because you're, you're using Browsio, um, you're going to be posting to all these different profiles and WordPress.com blogs under the different IPs. So post was successful. Um, image Upload failed, URL formats not supported. Okay, we'll have a look at that. And uh, post successful though. So let's have a look at the post. Oh, let's have a look at the post. Um, ignore the uh, the website. It's just the fastest loading page I could find. Bodied bodies .word .com. Let's see the post. It should have come up. It seemed like it was backdated. Nothing found. So I just want to have a quick look in here and see maybe it was backdated. Um, I put the wrong date on maybe. 
So it should be here somewhere in the drafts. Let's have a quick look. And then I'll just make that live. So scheduled, yeah. I've got to have a look at that, why it's doing that. And the image, is there's it, it didn't upload the uh, image because the format URL, I think it was, I don't know. I'll have a look at that later on. But anyway, so let's just publish this right now. Okay, so that's published. And we can have a look at it. And we can see the format. Oh, it did actually publish the image. I don't know what's going on there. Very interesting, very strange. So it did upload the image. Seems to be some weird bug in there. We'll have a look and we'll get it sorted. So it uploaded the featured image. That's great. Arnold is added again with those bulging biceps. It's competition month and bronze bodies. Great, great. Oh, this image. It was the curated image that it didn't like. Aha. Uh -huh. So it was trying to upload that image because it was in the body. That's what it was because you upload, you can if your images are in the body, it will upload the images that way as well. And it saw the image and it didn't because it wasn't actually on the computer. It was a curated image. So we've got to just fix that. It's an easy one to fix. Cool. Good thing we saw that now. All right. So there you go. That's your perfectly curated bit of content. And, and that's it. That's how you do it. And that's how we use Browsio. Now, I know I mentioned the tip. Uh, and how you guys are going to want to use this for local marketing. And I know a lot of you guys are local marketers. So um, I just want to give full disclosure that this is not my tip. I just learned this tip from Bradley Benner from Semantic Mastery, from a course that I just took called Content Kingpin. And I've got to say, I, I didn't think that it was possible that, you know, it was going to actually teach me something, you know, me and my ego. But it really did. I've got to say, it's an awesome course. And it's it it's like I didn't I, I didn't think this way for local marketing and I, I'm not a big local marketer but I know a lot of you are local marketers and I'm actually probably going to start focusing a little bit more on my local marketing sites now that I have this little tip in my arsenal and there were so many more so the tip is to think local you're doing local marketing um, let's say you're a roofer or you're a dentist I mean how much content are you going to find to curate as a dentist or a roofer you know you're going to be very very limited um, it, pretty much most most local niches are going to be like that. So that's why, you know, I tend to sort of not associate content curation with local marketing, but think local, think broad as always when you're curating always broad. So if you're from New York, you're going to want to know about things that are happening in New York. So just give them local updates, local news, you know, road closures, you know, a weather update that you think might be, you know, oh, you've got a few days depending on the local culture, what it's used to, um, you know, things to do locally, you know, so think like a person first and then worry about selling your services later, right? So you're going to want to get, you know, people coming to your site and learning all about things that, you know, that could be done locally. And what you have there are local people. These are exactly the people who, you know, who you can start marketing to. And um, the fact of the matter is, it's really no different than real life sales. So you need to build rapport first. Um, and that's that sort of getting personal with your local area. And by showing things that are happening in your local area on your website, you know, you're not selling anything. That's just you building rapport. So, you know, think of your local curation as building rapport. Um, and, you know, content is the life force of content marketing, obviously, you know, it's content marketing for a reason. And if you do SEO or social media marketing, um, you're a content marketer. And, you know, if you're not, you really do need to start concentrating a little bit more on content marketing. And the problem really with content marketing is that it's quite expensive. And good content is, is, is really worth more than gold. It's so expensive to get really, really good content. Um, and then when you're getting content written, you have to not only think about writing it and getting it written, but you also have to think about, you know, who you're going to link to, citing the correct sources. And when you curate content, correctly curate, let me get that word out, spit it out, curate. <laughs> so when you curate content um, per perfectly, properly, um, you get all of that. You get the links, you get the article, um, you get massive authority that goes with that. Um, you get the authority outbound links, you get to ping the people that have written that content and maybe get a backlink in return from them. Um, and you get great content that's already been proven to be popular. Um, so I have to say, I did learn a lot from Mas from, from the Mastery PR course, um, Content Kingpin, I think it's called. And as a result, I think I'm going to start focusing a little bit more on local marketing. Um, and I'm definitely going to be doing um, a few more local marketing case studies. So I've got one already with uh, 
um, a dental local dentist, which is awesome. And I'm going to start implementing these strategies onto that website, and we're going to see how much more um, traffic I can get, and how many more results, and how many more local people I can get eyeballing that emergency dentist site. So. Um, I think Content Kingpin closes on Tuesday. It's just a day or two away. I'm not sure um, when they're going to open it up again. It's the first I've heard about it. I know they open and close um, to tweak things. And um, what I'll do is I'll just drop a link in the link below now. And you just click that and, and, and just get it if you're doing content marketing. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned um, at least how to use content in the right way. And those of you who've got Browsio, awesome. Um, I'll see you in the group. If you don't have Browsio, it's also awesome. Um, please come to the group, check it out and see what you're missing. All right, guys, talk to you soon.